We've used every undesignated dollar to go toward these unbudgeted expenses. So I, I wrote a newsletter to ask for help. And that help came when a $45,000 donation covered the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission's expenses for this month. I mean, we're like being stampeded with phone calls of folks that are wanting to help. The financial troubles that the shelter faced were in part to code enforcement violations. But when help came in the form of free building repairs and code enforcement extensions, Director Carol Murphy jumped at the opportunity. Scott Electric came out and, and took care of the electrical stuff at no charge to us. They've given us extensions. They've been very gracious in that. But the Good Samaritan will need to maintain their budget for the future. Rafael Ortiz explains that despite the goodwill happening for them, the closing of the Good Samaritan can be trouble for other shelters that don't have the capacity to take in other people. No other place has beds. They do not have the funding because just like every other nonprofit, the other agencies, they have their money budgeted for the year. So to take on 150 more people.